Okay, part one. This is the video to show you how to use the GMC's UHF after reader. Okay, um, let's start it. Okay, make sure you have downloaded the uh, UR2000 UHF reader SDK. And if you didn't download it, then go to GMC's website uh, here. Yes, you can just input gnfc.com and choose UHF Reader Writer and go to the Fixed Reader Writer and then go to UR2000 and go Support tab and you will see this download link then click Download and you will go into the Google Driver, so you can just download this SDK pack, unzip the pack, and you get a folder here. Okay. So when you unzip to fo folders, you will see three folders. And the first one is the driver, the second one is the demo software source code. And SDK, and the third of folders are for the customized readers. The customized readers and uh, cover readers means that its functions is different from the typical uh, UR2000 readers, and the virtual keyboard means that the reader outputs the text ID at the cursor. For example, if I open Notepad and if the reader supports virtual keyboard function, then it will output the attack number, for example, if like this one, and give it an enter and read next, and just like this, such as like this, yeah, it will just read the text in this way. So this is a virtual keyboard, and this function is customized. And once the reader has the virtual keyboard function, it means it will make the UR2000 reader unable to write again. So you are unable to use this UR2000 uh, 2000 again. So make sure what function you are needed and choose relevant uh, relevant SDK software. Okay. And now the demonstration is based on uh, default UHF after readers. Okay. So it is so it can be write the text in this way. So when I open this one, you may see the folders here. So okay. Firstly, let firstly let let's Install the driver and the first step. The drivers can be found here. Also, you can just download it at these places. At these places, second laps CP210X USB to Art Bridge. So you can just Google. You can just Google it. And search CP210X. And the first one is to driver. So you can just uh, download relevant driver as per your OS. For example, Windows 10. Windows 7, 8, and Windows CE XP, and Mac OS, and Linux, and then Job. Please attention that this demo software here. Okay. Yeah, this demo software. This demo are 
just based are based on Windows. It develop under Windows platform. So if you are if you work on Linux or Mac OS, then uh, then it doesn't work. You can't use the demo. So you may need uh, develop your software as per communicate communication platform. So you can just uh, uh, develop the software as per this as per this okay so let's start in dry install the drivers so I have since my uh, this since this computer is bay is Windows 10 so I just used Windows 10 and x6 and 64 bit. Okay, I just install this. Just double click. And next. And we see this silicon laboratory and down. Okay, this is it's very simple. So let's check if we can if you successfully uninstall driver then you can see the you are uh, so you can see the UR2000 in the device manager so I just input yeah do you hear the beep it means that the UH have really has been inserted into the PCs so we can check this COM port in our PT. So if you can find this one, Silicon Lab CP21, uh, you see this information. It means the driver has successful, successfully installed. Okay, thanks for watching for this part. Driver installed.